All projects here at Mongoose Coding are either developed under the Agile or the Fixed Cost development models. So I'll explain the differences and the strengths of each model here and I'll use the solution in the last video as an example. So the biggest difference between the models is the scope definition. Under the fixed cost model the scope is very well defined before starting the project. Under the agile model the scope is partially defined before starting and partially defined throughout the project. And like the scope the cost is completely determined before starting a fixed cost project. But for an agile project the cost is partially determined before starting and partially determined during development. It's affected by the feedback and decisions made during the progress updates and the prototyping phases. So let's review the solution we covered in the last video. Here it is. Remember the purpose of this tool is to make it easier for loan managers to manage the loans. So the customer knew the objective but didn't know exactly how much information to bring over or how many loans to manage at once or what exactly was possible. So after understanding the general objectives of this project, we told them, okay, this will take somewhere between $1,000 and $2,000. Let's spend no more than two hours developing a prototype, and this will act as a starting point for idea generation and decision making moving forward. So this is what we delivered as the prototype. You can see it's very crude and very minimal, but this provides more than enough content to help describe and discuss future developments. And it gets the project started, rather than spending lots of time designing the system based on just speculation. So this gives the customer something to touch and feel, so to speak. So after the customer reviewed this prototype, they returned with this feedback. They said they like reviewing only one loan at a time, they like the drop-down box selection method, but they wanted to rearrange some of the data. And that's another strength of this agile development model, it's easy to optimize user experience. So rather than completely developing a feature for maybe 20 hours, we uncover any redirections right away after spending maybe only 10% of the total development time required. So after receiving their feedback, we were able to deliver them something very close to the final solution. We added a few extra fields at the end and a few extra usability features as well. So that wraps up the Agile development model. In a nutshell, there's just a little bit more communication throughout development between the developer and the customer, and it's easy to divide one project up into phases based on either features or prototype stages as well.